Boom Burst knocking out three Evolto EXs. Yay. <laughs> A six prize card turn. Awesome. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's gonna to be the Northern Evolution deck. And it's basically just a fun deck, but it actually surprisingly holds its own very well against competitive decks. Um, depending on your luck, you can actually win the game, depending on other other factors, but I'm mostly luck because of this first ability of the Northern Hats. But I've held my own, I've held my own pretty good against uh, top meta decks. I've won a couple, I've lost a couple. It just really depends on how um, how fortunate you are in your hand draws. Um, first of all, just real quick, there are things in this deck that I put in here just for preference, but if you want to change them, that's completely up to you and it actually makes more sense to actually change it, but I kept them this way just for preference. The first thing I want to note is the Professor's Letter. I, you might want to want just one, maybe, maybe at all, it really depends. I just, I'm really, really testy about uh, energy. So I always have to include some kind of search way if the deck I feel I feel if the deck needs needs it. So basically, because I have quite a bit of special energy in this deck, I felt I needed it just for sure get something going as far as just a simple energy. Another thing is the ultra balls are here. Um, I wouldn't actually level ball would fit this deck really well. The only thing that you would need ultra ball for is a shaman and the noivrins. Um, the technically the noivrins are the most important piece of the deck, but. I mean, to get the evolutions out or to get the setup going, you can use level ball as well. The last thing I want to mention is the energy. I run four dark energy, but uh, actually you can run whatever type of energy if you want to ever attack with evolutions. I figured dark wouldn't be a problem since it's, it's Neuvern's, um, one of Neuvern's required energies and also Vespi Queen doesn't really require any specific energy, so I just ran dark. However, Jolteon, uh, Vaporeon, and Flareon can actually be used to attack if you so wish, but you would have to run a th electric energy or a water or a fire. It just, I guess it depends on your matchup that, you're, that you want. They all do run relatively the same. I think this one does 60, that one does 70, and I think Jolteon does 70 as well. No, 80. We discard an energy. Uh, so they all do, do run relatively the same, but they, are, they could come in for a clutch KO depending on your matchups. And everything. But other than that, this is the Neuvern deck. We run four Neuverns, Neu Bats, I'm sorry, and three Neuverns, and he's the main star of the show. Neuvern, who is a very awesome looking designed Pokemon, just basically a, a really big bat. Um, he's a 100 Dragon type Pokemon, and he's got a nice ability called Echolocation. The ability itself is very annoying when you're fighting against it, depending if your opponent gets a lot of heads. I always, my friends always run this deck, or not this deck, but they run Pokemon with the same ability, and it's super annoying. Anyways, echolocation. If any damage done to this Pokemon, if if any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin. If heads prevent that damage, it's just damage. So if any, if the poke, if the opposing Pokemon has an attack that also does a status effect, you get the status effect regardless. But you can prevent the damage. So basically, if you're going against Septile EX, if he does Sleep Poison, you don't get the ten if you flip heads, but you still get uh, if he flips heads. You, you, if you flip heads, but you still get the Sleep and Poison if he flips heads. Uh, things like that. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Also, Pokemon that have the attacks that go through with effects of the defending Pokemon, uh, this negates that pretty much. Uh, that negates this pretty much. So basically, if a Pokemon has a shred, a shred attack, um, like Hydreigon EX, or um, I believe it's called Sparkling Tail for Ampharos EX, it goes through exo, exo, um, it goes through echolocation regardless. It doesn't you don't have, they, they don't even flip. He just goes through it because that's an effect on this Pokemon. What we're gonna be using is attack boom burst. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness or resistance. We're gonna be using this attack in combination with the evolutions and white lands. Um, our secondary attacker, which is just as in as a tech card, is Vespi Queen. Vespi Queen is a very talked about deck and she's very nice looking and everything. She's a 90 HP grass type Pokemon and she, we're gonna take advantage of B Benjin. Revenge. Vivenga. B Revenge. It's 20 damage base, and then the attack does 20 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So, depending on how like, the game goes, Best Be Queen can actually be a pretty powerful attacker. We run Shaman in here just for basically um, help keep the consistency going. 
but it's up to you if you want to run them or chain them. If not, it's fine. Uh, but I just use it here to help to keep consistency going. It's really useful, especially because the supporters from X Y on are kind of lacking, in my opinion. Besides Sycamore, everything else is kind of lacking. Um, teammates is also pretty good for this deck. Um, other than that, we run the EVs. We run two Jolteons because there are two. Uh, there are a lot of important Pokemon that are weak to electric. We want one Vaporeon because Fire Pokemon aren't very, I guess, dominant in this format. I, I don't want to say weak, but uh, they're not very popular in this format. But also, Vaporeon does hit ground type Pokemon as well, a uh, certain ground type. And we want Flareon who hits Steel and Grass. And Flareon is pretty useful, but Jotun is so far as the, one of the most useful ones because a lot of things like Evolta and Lugia and things like that are weak to electric, electric type Pokemon, especially with Fossa. Uh, we run three Acrobats to help speed the deck up, two Professor Letters, um, just because I'm really antsy about the Dark Energy, one Sacred Ash just to get back things that are in the discard pile that we need, two Trainers Mail to help the deck speed up as much as possible, four Ultra Balls that can be traded up for level balls up to you, uh, three Virtual Seekers to get back any, any of the supporters in the discard pile, one Last Hander to take out any knockouts or maybe stall. Uh, we got three birches uh, because I prefer birches over Shauna. Uh, Birch statistically has a 5.5 draw power rate, while Shauna only has a five. Uh, I just prefer birch. Sycamore, four sycamores because it's the best supporter of the set. I want to say uh, one Shauna, one teammates because I'm assuming one of the one of these Pokemon will go down eventually. One teammates, uh, one Wally. Um, that's basically just to get something out as fast as possible maybe we have Norman ready but we don't got an Eevee ready so we can put on an Eevee Wally into Jolteon and use it for the effect and everything we run three trainers mail just to help give our Vespi Queen and our Noivern's life three white lands that's just for the Noivern so the boom burst can affect the Pokemon on the bench and do uh, basically affect them with weaknesses we have four double dragon energies just to help speed up um, it only applies to Noivern as well, but just to help speed up Noivern as much as possible. Two double colors, that's either for the Shaman or for the Vespi Queen. And when for Dark Energy, it really snap my day there for Vespi Queen or for Noivern. Uh, like I said, you can swap it out for uh, one of the energies for um, the, the, the evolutions, but that's totally up to you. Either way, hopefully you guys are going to join this deck. It is a pretty fun deck. Some of my, some of my funnest matches have actually happened with this deck. So we're going to go against Denise Miranda. She's running Fighting Psychic, which is a bummer because we don't, we're not super effective against any of that. Unless this is ground type, then we are. I'll go first. But let's just see. Oh my God! Fighting Psychic gets Groudon. It's it's Wobbuffet Groudon. Wobbuffet Groudon. Well, I lost. But let's make it let's make it at least a playable match. Um. Let's start off with Eevee and then what one. one thing that does help us out just a little bit is oh my god I'm gonna die if it gets muscle band strong energy <laughs> one thing that does help us out a little bit is by any chance for whatever reason ground takes a while to come out we can still get this going I have a Jolteon it's not gonna do any work but it's always gonna have free retreat costs so I'm just gonna pass a turn even though it's a bad idea to actually do that but I'm gonna pass a turn most likely he's going down, but if he doesn't go down for whatever reason, I can use Jotel for free tree cost. One bummer thing though is I got my two double colors energies, when I need that for Vestry Queen. Uh, another thing is Land uh, Vapor and it's going to do some work if a shot of power stays here, I mean if Lander stays here. Uh, he's going to stick more and let's see what he had in discard pile. He didn't have much, he had two fighting energies, Silent Lab. Switch versus Seeker and a Sycamore, so that's that's a pretty good resource gone in versus Seekers and Sycamore. There is a full art Grodom and a Wobble Fit. Uh, a bad thing, however, ooh, no energy, it's a big miss for our opponent. One bad thing, though, is Grodom is weak to grass, so they part um, best because gonna put some work in, but I'm gonna discard the double color energy, so it's gonna be a hassle to just power it up naturally. Uh, we do get a double dragon, double dragon, but I need it. What the heck? This is an odd hand right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the Lysander. Actually, I might need the Lysander. Get rid of a Birch and a Dark Energy and get out our Noivern. We're gonna go ahead and evolve into our Noivern. 
attach double dragon energy, and we're going to go on Fury Cost into our Northern and Boom Burst. On 30 everywhere. What is pretty good though, however, is Landorus will have a shot of doing 20 to us, 40 or 60, depending on what he attaches to Landorus. He's gonna Mega Log off the bat. Um, I can't last under him on, or is it except for trainers or what? He paid Mega Turbo. So this is gonna be a problem. That um, Groudon's getting ready. Groudon is such is so scary. If I get Vespi Queen out, then we can have a threat at least. Something to scare Groudon. Let's see. I believe I can't last under him. Yeah. Tails. So we get the 40 damage, but. I mean, we do have a chance of not of getting heads, but either way, he's gonna touch energy to his Groudon regardless. We got two more turns, I wanna say. Um, normally, on certain circumstances, I would Lysander out the level fit. It requires two energy to retreat. Is that the best play here? I want to get other things going, but if he has a switch card, I pretty much negate a turn. But if I use uh, Lassender, I can catch up Bobble Fit, maybe buy myself a turn or two. Maybe. It really depends. I'm going to go and do that just to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and Boom Burst. 30 everywhere, stacking up the damage. Uh, hopefully by next turn, I can get at least another contender here. I won't be knocked out this turn unless our opponent has a Mega Turbo and another. Fighting energy and a way to switch out, but he's looking for it. Obviously, he's using Scorched Earth, which is very good for him, very bad for me. I need to put my trainer card up there. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't help him out at all. Really, was running evolutions. He's running a pretty nice big basic stack, except for Primal Groudon. Uh, however, we're we're taking some good chunks out of him. <sighs> what is this? He's Ultra Bowling for a particular Pokemon, I'm sorry. Uh, Primal Groudon matchups aren't particularly my best matchups. Halucha, which is a free cheat cost Pokemon, which of course would make sense. Uh, however, Wobble Fit is here, and we do have Jolteon. If we get Wide Lens, then that could be scary for Halucha. We have no EXD either, so it's just merely a free cheat cost thing. I'm gonna have to Professor Birch's observations. Hopefully I get heads, yes. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a Combi. I could, however, get a combi, but I get the white lens. That's very important right now. Uh, Groudon is coming up, roaring. He's ready to go, but I need to get out combi. Oh, that is super bad. That means most of my energy is prized, which isn't good. Uh, Best of Queen is there. Ooh, is combi gone? Combi is gone. Combi isn't the prize card. Um, that is a that is actually a big uh, hindrance on my deck, but I can power up another um, Noivern by the time this gets ready. So I'm gonna go boom burst again, 30 everywhere. Um, I totally forgot about Wobbuffet's ability, but that's fine. I'd rather have Wobbuffet in the active than Groudon in the active. Groudon seems like he's gonna come out pretty soon though. Um, there it is. <laughs> Groudon is ready, but he needs to have a switch, which maybe he does. If he doesn't, then I buy this another turn. We can get on another Noivern. He doesn't have them to add the extra switch. We can get rid of the Scorcher for Training Center, and so basically only us qualify for that. Um, double Dragon Energy is needed, but I don't want to sacrifice anything. The Vaporeum might be useful, but I need another EV. So, I mean, there's a couple things that are. I don't necessarily have, but I don't want to get rid of double dragon energy, especially since we don't have much energy to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just birch. Hopefully get it drawing the Noivern. I get four, but I had four to begin with. I had double dragon energy. Actually I got a worse hand from that. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm gonna go ahead and boom burst. 30, 30, 30, and 30. So I do get something, so hopefully I can get something scary. I don't get anything too too scary. He puts out Halucha, which is gonna of course live. The only thing we have that doesn't affect us really too much. Oh, but now you can attack. Wait, no. Nah. Uh, 
doesn't really affect us too much. We do it, we're out of stage once. The only thing that can save us is if we get heads on the Groudon EX attack, which is a very nice ability that Northern has. Super annoying <laughs> when you fight against it, but it is very, very useful um, ability to have. I'm not very lucky on heads, so odds are I'm probably gonna go down in this one hit. But if I do get lucky, that is great. Please get lucky, Noivern. Yes, Noivern! You are so baller. Discards the stadium, which is good for us. We get the other Noivern out. That is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and attach the other energy there. Put on our EV. Um, Acro Bike into. Ooh, a Shaman would be very perfect for this matchup. Using a Shaman, draw up another three cards. We get Sycamore, which is pretty useful, but we also get don't get really much anything else. That's fine. We can go ahead and Boom Burst again, knocking out the Halucha. Hopefully drawing that Combi. We don't get the Combi. The Combi is really needed for this <laughs> this matchup right here. Uh, hopefully I draw it the next time, but if not, that's fine. We've already if we can knock out this one Groudon. We can pretty much win because it takes too long to set up another Groudon. Our opponent is first seeking probably for a shot. Mm, I would have sycamored. I would have sycamored. But maybe our opponent has very useful resources that he didn't want to get rid of, so he has the Shana. Let's see what happens. He's using another Landorus, which is fine. We got a Riporion for that. Echo Ah! I was hoping Echo Location would come through. We get 200, which is fine. Scary, but fine. <laughs> Um, like I said, if we could just get this one Groudon down, then we have a bit of hope. I really wish I had my Combi, because my Combi will be doing a lot of work right now. Uh, let's see what we can go for. There's nothing else we really need. A White Lens would help, but it's not needed too, too much. We need the Combi. Absolutely, we need the Combi. Um, but the White Lens would help. I can't. I can't stick more because I can't get rid of the Vestry Queen. But oh, I need to get another Noiver Noibad out. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna have to sacrifice the Combi. Oh, I don't have the Noiver. <laughs> no, you bet. I should have checked my deck before. Oh wow. Uh, Looks like we have nothing we can really use for right now. That was my bad. That was a misplay on my part. The only thing I can do is I believe I have my, all my, uh, most of my energy, even though I have more than this, in this car pile. The only thing I can think of is either living with echolocation or just attaching the shaman and using this uh, scoop of ability. I'm just gonna go ahead and boom burst again. Nothing really much I can do here. Basically, my entire fate lies upon these past these next two turns. Um, Combi, the, one of the major cards we needed is here. I, I tried picking him out, but I just couldn't. Gets another pri pri uh, Primal Groudon, but I'm not afraid of that because it really takes a long time for Groudon to get set up. Wobbuffet, Halucha, and Landorus are all there just to help La um, Groudon get set up. So he's gonna Mega Evolve. And probably you wasted most of his Mega Turbo, so he's got the. Oh, he has one more. So never mind, Primal Gordon is a thing still. Uh, I really wish I had my Combi. Combi, where are you? Ah, grass typing. Why grass? Oh well. Uh, he knocks us out either way, even if he doesn't have a stadium. Yeah, it's a hundred plus a hundred more. I think he's looking for the stadium, but he does knock me out regardless. Uh, although Noivern is flying type, does not resist ground type. Which would be very useful if he did, actually. But, that's neither here or there. Um, there's, there's just one of the many bad matchups, but it's actually putting quite of a fight. If I had a combi, this would be much more in my favor. Ah, oh, echolocation does not come through. That's fine. I kind of knew it wasn't, but... The only hope I have now is well, I send a trump card, but I don't have that anymore. But that's not the option anymore. Uh, let's see. Hydro Splash would actually have knocked out, but there's no way I can power up Hydro Splash. 
Not the Sycamore. Uh, I got a Wild Lens and everything else, but a Noibat is prized, so was a Combi, and I believe an Energy. Which is a real big bummer. Um, I really can't do much. I could just Sacred Ash, but hopefully getting into something we can actually use. We can use the Vespicoon again, depending if we actually get it back. But I think I'm out of energy, to be honest with you. To be completely honest, I think I'm out of energy. That's three double dragons, two double colors, and three. I can only power up one more attacker if I get lucky, even. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the Flareon and the Shauna and get out a Noibat. Might as well stick to the guns. Uh, Shaman's gonna go down, which I shouldn't have attached to Shaman at all. Actually, I can just retreat into Vaporeon. I'm sorry, Vaporeon. I'm gonna also give her Seeker my. Uh, second one will be useful, but I'm gonna be drawing out pretty soon. I can possibly buy time with Lysander. Possibly. And then end my turn. Um, possibly buy time. It really depends. I can't, won't be knocking out anything, but I don't recall. I think I have one double dragon energy left. I don't know if it's prized. And I might have one more energy, but I believe that is prized. I think it is right here. I think that's the energy, that's the combi, and that's the Noi Bat. I want to say. He's going to last around my little Noi Bat. <laughs> Which is sad, because he knows he's my only attacker. <laughs> Poor Noi Bat. He, he does resist fighting, though. It's cute. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna take it right in the face. Primal Groudon doesn't have to be so hard on my poor little Noibat, but it's got another Groudon. Doesn't really matter. Uh, that one's just for show, I guess. I guess he wants to admire his full art, which is very nice. He does have full art Groudons and full art Primal Groudons. I just have full art Shamans. He does have the Shadow Power under this. So, there really isn't much of a way I can win, but I'm gonna put Jotown in just to use that as a retreat cost. But I am gonna lessen her out the other um, Grotto, the one that doesn't have any energy on it, and then I'm gonna end my turn. I can still win by decking him out, which is a very bad way to go, but it happens. Our opponent is actually helping me deck himself out, or herself out, Denise Miranda. Oh, oh well. That's the game right there. <laughs> I seems to me like I can't do anything about that. Uh, why is I always been knows that when something gets knocked out, Vaporeon I think moves up a bit. Um, that's it really. I really can't do much. That is pretty much the game. Um, I can't do anything. One two. Three. I think I have one more seeker, but I doubt that's gonna come through. My opponent is expending a lot of his resources though, so maybe. Oh, never mind. He just knew. Shaman is going down. 180 to the face, and we lost. But Norvin did hold its own against uh, against Groudon, and we would have actually, I think, sealed the deal if we actually had our combi. Hope you guys did enjoy the uh, battle. Uh, if you guys did, please leave a like and a comment on the bottom. Uh, comment me what you guys want to see, what kind of cards you want to see in action. I actually don't mind whatever card you guys throw my way. So if you have a question, if you have a question on a card, like say for instance you want to know how viable, I don't know, Whimsy card is or something, put it in the comment and I'll see if I can make a deck with it, or based around it. If I can, I'm sorry, but I will try my best. I, I always play, I'll always play test on here. Um, but yeah, so other than that, um, hope you guys have a great day.